An overwhelming majority of Brits are supportive of a measure that would see undocumented migrants attempting to claim asylum in the UK automatically rejected, according to latest polling. A recent YouGov survey revealed that the public supports the prevention of illegal arrivals from settling in the UK and backs deportation of those whose asylum claims are rejected. 56% are called for measures which would prevent a failed asylum applicant who could not be removed from UK from settling legally in Britain. Just 20% are opposed the measure. A refusal to offer settlement rights to a failed applicant would restrict family reunion rights and access to any public funds, as well as involve a reassessment for removal to another country every two and a half years. Some 60% of the public would back plans for all illegal migrants to be housed in immigration reception centres similar to those used by the Australians, as opposed to paying for them to stay in hotels. Just 21% were opposed. And by a majority of 4 to 1, a huge 64% of the British public believe that an inadmissible asylum claim should see the applicant deported from the country. Just 14% opposed deportation. The general consensus of the public is at odds with Home Office figures reported in the Times on Wednesday that of the 1,503 migrants who have arrived illegally in Britain this year and whose asylum claim has been deemed inadmissible, not a single one has yet been deported. The polling comes during a week in which Home Office figures have been up against it in the House of Commons after a surge in illegal arrivals from the English Channel, coinciding with warmer weather and fairer sailing conditions. Conservative backbenchers Philip Davies, Sir Edward Lee, Marco Lonehy, Henry Smith and Peter Bone all put demanding questions to the Home Secretary and her colleagues during Monday's parliamentary sitting, with Mr Lee going as far as calling UK Border Force little more than a taxi service for illegal migrants. Priti Patel responded to complaints by acknowledging that the British public are fed up, absolutely fed up and demoralised with what we have been seeing, adding, People that are seeking to claim asylum should be claiming asylum in the first safe country. They should not be participating and making these dangerous crossings.